we say that a plus b to the power n is the power of a binomial, which we can expand using the binomial expansion. Well, all that's really saying is that a plus b to the n is the product of n factors of a plus b. Now, to find a term in the expansion of the power of a binomial, we need to do two things. First, determine which factors we need to choose, and then determine the number of ways we can choose those factors. For example, suppose I want to find the coefficient of x cubed y squared in the tenth power of x plus y. So again, it's helpful to remember x plus y to the tenth is the result of multiplying x plus y by itself ten times. So let's think about this. To get a term x cubed y squared, we have to choose x exactly three times and y exactly twice. But since there are ten factors, we can't do that. And the thing to remember is you must choose a term from each of the factors. And so this is a pretty easy problem. The coefficient is zero. And in a kind and gentle universe, all binomial expansions would be this easy. We don't live in that universe. So let's find k and the coefficient of x cubed y to power k in the binomial expansion x plus y to power 10. So to get x cubed y to k, well again we have to choose x exactly three times. And remember we have to choose a term from each factor. And since there are 10 factors, that's our 10th power, we have to choose 10 terms altogether. So if 3 of them are x, then 10 minus 3, 7 of them must be y. And so we have to choose y exactly 7 times. And so this means we could either choose 3 of the x factors out of the 10 available, or 7 of the y factors out of the 10 available. We'll choose 3 from 10. So that's 10 choose 3 is 10 factorial divided by 3 factorial, 7 factorial. And again, the easy way to remember this is that the denominator is going to be 3 factorial. That's 1 times 2 times 3. And the numerator will start at 10 and descend until we have 3 factors. So that's 10, 9, 8. And we'll compute. Now, it's worth pointing out we'd get the same answer if we chose 7 of the terms to be y, but in that case, our computation would be 10 choose 7. That's 10 factorial divided by 7 factorial, 3 factorial. And again, we can write this out. Our denominator will be 7 factorial, and our numerator would have 7 factors starting with 10 and going down. And numerically, we'd get exactly the same value. It's just that 10 choose 7 is a little harder to compute. Now, the important thing is to trust me. I'm on the internet, and so everything I say must be the absolute truth. Because if it's not true, you couldn't put it online, right? Yeah, well, with the binomial theorem, we can find any term of any binomial expansion, but we could have done that before with some work, and it's useful to compare the two results. Anytime somebody presents you with a new way of doing things, it's nice to check and make sure you're still getting the same results. So let's find the x term of 2x plus 5 squared by multiplying out and then by the binomial expansion. So if we multiply out, well, we know how to do that. And we find our x term is 20x. In the binomial expansion, since each factor of our square is 2x plus 5, and we have two factors, to get the x term, we'll need to use 2x one time and 5 one time. And so the coefficient will be 2 choose 1, which will be 2, which is what we got the last time. 
uh, uh, well, zero is nothing, so two and twenty are the same thing. Um, hmm, what's going on here? Well, let's think about that a little bit more. The x term actually comes from choosing 2x and then 5, and this actually gives us 10x. We could also choose 5, then 2x, which gives us another 10x. So in fact, we have two products of 10x, and so that's 10x plus 10x. Well, that's 20x. And so our actual term should be 20x. And here's the thing to notice, that 2 that we got from the binomial coefficient is here as part of our product, but the rest of it comes from the factors themselves. And so remember, in the expansion of a plus b to power n, the binomial coefficient must be multiplied by the appropriate powers of a and b. So, for example, let's say we want to find the x cubed term in the expansion of x plus 2 to the 7th. So we have seven factors we have to choose. The x cubed term has to come from choosing x three times and choosing 2, the remaining 7 minus 3, four times. So the binomial coefficient, well, that'll be 7 choose 3. And since we've chosen x three times, we have an x to the third. And since we chose two four times, there's going to be a two to the fourth. We find seven choose three. And so the term itself will be Or let's find the x to the fifth term in the expansion of x minus one to the eighth. So again, if we want to produce the x to the fifth term, we have to choose x five times and choose minus one, the remaining eight minus five, three times. And so our term will be eight choose five, x to the fifth minus one to the third. And we can compute. And our binomial could include a variable, so let's find the x cubed y squared term. So to get an x cubed y squared term, we have to choose x three times, minus 4y two times. And so that's 5 choose 3, x to the third, minus 4y to the second. And so our term will be